Wincing, I shook my head in response. That wasn't exactly the whole truth, I admitted to her, feeling guilty as I spoke. The truth is I moved Tyler and myself out here in order to get away from his father's line of work. Seeing the puzzled expression on her face, I continued. He was mixed up in something called the King's Knights, and I moved out here in order to escape them so that they didn't try to hurt either of us. Her jaw dropped as she stared at me, in shock and disbelief. The King's Knights? she asked, sounding as though I had mentioned a ghost. Are you certain he was part of the King's Knights? Confused, I stared at her for a moment, trying to determine why she sounded so upset before nodding my head in response. I don't know if he was a part of the King's Knights, I corrected her, but I know that he was involved with someone named Jake. She considered this for a moment before shaking her head in response. By any chance, did he have a twin named Vincent? She asked, and I felt the color drain from my face. Yes, I replied skeptically as I stared at her for a moment. Why do you ask? Do you know him? A smile started to spread across her face as she nodded her head in response. As a matter of fact, I think I do, she replied, cheering up as she pulled away from me. You know those motorcycle shows that occur on the weekends? Immediately, I nodded my head in response, and she continued. You should go there and look for Chase. Tell him I sent you, and tell him that you're looking for Jake. He'll help you from there. As much as I wanted to believe her, I found myself shaking my head in response. This had to be nothing but a cruel joke. Fate was playing with me once again, and this time, it was using Rebecca. It wasn't fair to get my hopes up when I knew that there was no chance of finding Jake again. As far as I knew, he was still in Texas. I had never seen Rebecca so excited in all her life. She looked as though she was going to burst from the excitement she was experiencing, and I was starting to wonder if maybe she was telling the truth. At this point, I had nothing to lose. But Tyler. And if I could manage to keep him, then I would be satisfied. If you say so, I said as I started towards the front door. Do you still...